Okay, let's uh, try that again, shall we? So, we've got a pretty tough boss, potentially. I'm hoping he doesn't take too much damage. But I guess we... Uh, didn't really have the best opportunity to tell, did we? That is so frustrating. Uh... There's ninjas everywhere. Let us uh, go back down here then. We'll get a cutscene? I don't think we will. He put poison on his shit. Yeah, lots of poison. Be better here. Do you think breaking his guard? I know his guard comes back really fast. Ow. Hmm. Like, I reckon this would be probably very easy, this, if you had a a weapon that you actually use properly, you know, through the game. Because this is doing a decent amount to crush even though we don't have its spectra. Wow, you see the fucking damage that just did because I ate it folks up close like a shotgun. So yeah, he doesn't seem that interesting at all actually. I was hoping that this boss was going to be cool and judging from that, he doesn't really have much. I just don't do any damage. It's kind of like playing this game on Way of the Ninja or Way of the, what is it called, Way of the Demon. Where you hit the bosses and you do 50 pence and they've all got like 9 million life. Have we got any better, Because uh... if I put those on, I'll shit on his fucking bread bin, but that's not the point of what we're doing. Let's see if we can put some more skills on this thing. Hmm. Aims a kick at the enemy's feet. Ah, cool. That could be an interesting one to try punishing. I don't know what those two things mean. More of the passive stuff. Let's um Let's go for this.
I'll grab that just for, you know, because I like parrying. I don't think it looks like a very good parry. We'll, uh, we'll see if it does anything. And as to be expected, fall damage is beast. Have I got instant cast? I do. Oh, yes. Instant cast. It's too good. <laughs> that trade. Oh, there it was. Hmm. That was good, though. Not on my part, but on the part of knowing that if I use the buffs, we can put this guy down pretty fast. I need to get that for mid stance. If I can get that for mid stance, we'll be gravy. I'm wondering if he'll stand and take that. Probably not. Right? This should not do fall damage dropping down that ladder. What a waste of fucking time. Did that hit me? that move and it does incredible damage. I can try parrying the jump attack though, because if you think about it, it's just like the the move that what's his name does? The guy with the gun, Saika Magoichi. You can parry his jump attack, so feasibly they're the same move. The problem there is he has the, the grab. So if he goes for the grab and I think it's the, the other move, I'm going to be in trouble. But we'll see. You know, these playthroughs are all about experimentation. Nice. That's got two hits. Might be important to know, right? Second hit might be good to do as well. What if that was it? It doesn't really make a noise to tell you that you've done it right. That was not it. I wonder if this guy has any way to get out of the loop. That'll be something interesting to check. Just to see his tolerance of uh, everybody's favourite technique. Ready to install Neo version 1.15? What the fuck does that mean? I'm not on the most updated version. Okay. <laughs> So you can get out of it then. Good luck. But he does struggle. You can do that twice. You can parry that move as well. But that's not how we're winning this fight anyway. So I don't know if you saw, but when he was on the ground after the EA. When he does that spur spurly kick move, where he does his little capoeira move to get back up, the dark samurai does the same thing, the obsidian guy. So if you time it correctly, you can parry it. So as he tries to kick you from the ground, just like in Tekken, you can just low parry his ass and kill him. But as witnessed, if I use those swords, this guy is not a problem. But that's, you know, it's not really the point. It might be the point if I keep getting fucking killed by annoying shit, but for the most... I'd like to hit him with a new weapon, 
preferably. Because I feel like that's what it's for, right? Ooh. That reminds me a little bit of the move that the uh, Frozen Lady does. Faster than I am. There's a lot of damage too. <laughs> I had to try just to see what it did. It seems like it could be okay. I'm not getting any heals. This is weird. There you go. I can't do the EA thing. You're buffing and buffing. Oh, it's so weird having this weapon on, boys. I don't, I don't know how to use it. Like, I know how to punish things in this game in a very decent way, but oh, okay. He's got paralysis on his uh, gear. Oh, whoa, he just fucking shouldered me. When suddenly. That's cool. He's got some tricks then. Oh, what the fuck was he doing? Just hit the guy. I thought he was going to do his uh, slidey move. He didn't. I've been trading way too much. Do you remember in the main game where when you hit people from behind you were almost guaranteed a, a full combo? Where did that go? We break his guard? Yay! <laughs> there we go. That was messy. <laughs> but he's not a difficult fight. He's the kind of boss, right? If you come here with your gear that you've played this game in, you're not even going to know he's a boss because he's already dead. But, uh... He's, he's cool, at least. Did he drop a, a good weapon? I don't know. Need to. Whoa! Look at the delay on the the block. The fuck is that? This is not Dark Souls Two. Oh, I hope that's not real. I hope I just seen that wrong. Infiltrating Sanada Maru. That's tough, man. Tom for Triumph, I wonder what that is. I wish this game was on Xbox One, I really do. Because then I could care about the fucking achievement things. Okay, that man was one of Sanada's ten braves, Sarutoba Sasuke. Though a ninja like Hanzo, he does not use Iga Ninjutsu. No doubt he used his path to deploy a group of ninjas to confuse the Tokugawa forces. Now it is our turn to use this path to our advantage. So what do we get? A sword, a gun, and some bullets. That it? Twilight mission, the Crimson Fortress has unlocked. Cool. 
Bearer of Ill Tidings. What mission is that? Oh, that one. The Crimson Fortress. Look at that. You get fire tonfers. Oh, God. It's that, it's that level, but higher level. Okay, let's, um... I was hoping we could get a chance to speak over a couple of the finest sake. However, now is not the time. Uh, positions and beliefs may differ. We are samurai, you and I. Sometimes it is best to let ourselves do the talking. I think you know what that means. Oh, wow, we get to fight Masamune. I wonder if he doesn't use the bullshit. That'd be cool. We should check that out. I need to go online and get that patch. So this might fuck up the game. Yeah, let's just do this, guys. Because I don't know what this means. So... Um, Apparently, my PlayStation told me today that I turned it off wrong the last time I played. And now I've got this weird square on my list that says corrupted data, which is really scary. <laughs> I hope it's nothing important. Because if it is, look at it. It's fucking terrifying, right? But what was that trophy we just got? I don't even know how to do this. Uh, that. Here we go. Is it done? Is it done doing whatever it does? How do I go to the new ones? Oh, it was for using the tonfer. That's far. Bathed in every hot spring in Siege of Osaka. I missed those then. Oh, interesting. So there's just like... Okay. Not to worry. This game has an autosave, guys. It's not like we haven't been playing it for hundreds of hours. <laughs> I don't even know how long I've been playing this game, but it's a while. I still haven't done Way of the Demon, because it got so fucking boring. I'm hoping that those new high-level weapons make it a bit less bullshit. Because I would like this to, this game to have some kind of system where you can put an upgrade path on your weapon that powers it up for how little you level. So if you're level 1 and you put that upgrade path on a weapon, it makes it so that you can actually play Way of the Demon without wanting to fucking kill yourself. Because it's not very fun if you've played it. And this is a game where they they can make you incredibly overpowered, so they can't be like, oh, but that'll break the game. Look at everybody's build on this game. They kill bosses in one punch, or like two fucking slashes. They're all overleveled and crazily powerful, so why not, you know, let us do it the other way. So can we do a Tom for one? We can, but I need more uh, Tom for juice. I didn't do that one. Interesting. A little bit more Pug Tom for juice, guys, and we can do the dancing Tom for... Right, let's go to the shop. I want to see if we can buy yes, something I... new. Oh, I thought I got all of these. Oh no, I ain't got. I've got twelve points. Damn. I've got all of them now. Jesus. Ooh, interesting. I should have probably saved that instead of spending it on fucking barber stuff. What does this mean? I don't even know what patronage is, but I'll have one, please. Syllabar ingots. Allows you to store Amrita in Syllabar ingots at a rate of 70 pence. That sounds pretty good, right? Oh, I wish these had been in the game earlier. These sound interesting. I don't know what any of this is. I'll, if this can let me use Amrita to turn it into something useful, then that's awesome. Because I run around with millions of the stuff, and I die, and then everybody gets really sad <laughs> because I didn't spend it. Now I might be able to spend it. There we go. So, what is that then? That must be something new, right? I've not even heard that word. Syllabar Humperdink, or whatever it was. That's 850. I've got enough money. <laughs> um. Oh wow, that one does more damage to dwellers. Cool. 
So has that one got good skill scaling? It does. Let's try and make it. Oh no, I'm buying it, aren't I? Fuck, I'm in the wrong menu. I need to look at the other stuff. Always buy this shit. It'll save your life. And when you run out, it's so frustrating when you run out of that stuff. Here we go, what's this? What the hell is that? That looks crazy. Okay. Have to bear with me, guys. It's been a long time since I fucked about in these menus. I'm a little bit rusty. So that one goes to 866 potentially. 872, 878, 890, 902, Jesus, and 916. Quaking ton for. Let's try and make one of each, right? So I've got resources and shit. Oh, I don't have good lacquer though, that's unfortunate. But can't I just dump in the divine things? If I dump a bunch of divines, it'll make it, like, high chance to be sexified. Did I do that right? Uh, potentially not, because I got a fucking blue. That's great. God, I, I don't like this system. Like, look at those percentages! It's so high on, on divine, and you can still make blue. There we go. So that's got poison, close combat damage, high break stuff. That could be okay, maybe. And then let's make one of those. I always like to do 10, I don't know why. It's probably wasteful. People have probably figured out all this shit. But I haven't, so... Enemy electrified? Key damage on... Enemies, is that saturated? All these new abilities that I am not entirely certain what they mean. I've caught my nail bed as well on my index finger on my left hand. And every so often I keep catching it. And it's that kind of pain that's so fucking ridiculous your brain doesn't seem to filter it. God, it's horrible. Ugh. Such a weird pain. So what is this new shit then? Ooh, I should probably do this, right? Uh, this is probably going to be really boring for people. I apologise, but I, uh, I'll i forget to do it, so... It's a good idea to just run through this and... There you go. If you press it twice, you skip the waiting. I wonder if the, uh, the forging will get better, because admittedly, it's a little cumbersome as it stands. Like, when you first play this game and you're looking at all these menus and you're staring at all these colours and all this shit, it's like, oh my god. But you do learn to understand it, and then they release, like, 50 extra fucking values that you don't understand, and then when you press help to see what it does, the description is not the best. So you sit there being like, oh, here we go. Syllabar Humperdinck grants too a lot of Amrita. Are you fucking kidding me? It's an item that gives you Amrita, really? Gives you a lot of Amrita. This is made of a special kind of silver that allows you to store and use Amrita. Oh, it's a bank! Interesting. So you just straight up store that shit. Should we do it? How much money do I have? I think I've got more than that. Oh, I don't know how to do it. Can I level up those things I just made? Can I level up a sexy tone for... Hey, that's a new gun. A new cannon. That looks nice. Right. What did I just make? So I'm using 150. That's the one I just made, right? A consecutive attack sounds cool. Oh no, I made that one. Hey, these are way higher level. I think it's probably best to go with that just because it goes poison on it. Poison could be good, right? So let's chuck some weapons onto this. Make it a bit better. I thought two greens made it a plus one green. 
Does it have to be a tonfa for this to work? Oh, here we go. I thought two two normal greens made a plus one. I was apparently wrong. I don't know if I want to get rid of some of these swords. Some of these swords are the ones I've got like in my rainy day bank. <laughs> Can't get rid of my rainy day swords, can I? Now these I can get rid of because I got dozens of them. Yeah. I think that's like two mil, right? That's a lot of money. Should be enough to do some of this. So much shit. It's not even funny. Here we go. Get rid of some of this garbage. Um, let's do axes. I never use axes. There's a chance I might use those other weapons. I might as well pick a weapon I never use and I know I'm not gonna use. Not that it really matters because getting weapons on this game seems to be like a lot easier these days. I only wanted to go above a thousand. Maybe that'll. Uh, Incentivize sexy stuff to uh, go to plus three. Look at that! That looks weird. I've never seen a Kusara that looks like that before. If you could use armor, it'd be nice because I've got like a million pieces of armor. I know that for a certain. Let's get rid of that. And now we've got some power on it, even though it doesn't have all the uh, the slots. It's not optimum at any anywhere, but we're not really looking for optimum. So that Im syllabar ingot thing sounds garbage. So let's go with that. In banking Amrita. I thought that meant I was gonna be able to buy a really really cool resource. Can you speak to this guy a million times? Get some points. Like I thought you might you might get an upgrade material that guaranteed you got you know god tier stuff on it. That doesn't seem to work on him. Let's try soul matching it now. It's leveled up a little bit. See if we can get it stupid leveled. So it's 178. Have we got anything higher than 178? Not on that. 182, but that's my baby. Can't fuck with that. 166. 169. Damn, it's actually quite high level. Oh, 179 there. Oh. That started higher level then. Interesting. How much does that cost? That doesn't cost anything. Not really. One thousand thirty. Bonus damage to Narakibe, that's cool. Might as well do one of these shit bangers then. I'm not getting rid of that one. Get rid of that one. It costs like two pence, it puts it to a thousand. That's awesome. Right, can we uh Can we get rid of some of the shit on it and get something I like? Get something that goes for the stuff I like doing. Here we go. So that's kinda perfect, although I wish it was higher. That's fine. I don't really need break or high attack. I, I don't know what that is. It's extra poison, so that's fine. So let's what do we do now? There's a triangle, isn't there? Divine Fragments, Anima Stones. They're the really good ones, but I don't know how to get them. They're the kind of shit ones, but I've got dozens. They're the quite rare ones, and I've got a few. Let's go with the quite rare ones. We'll do two at a time. See what we get. Uh, I don't know what enemy saturated is, and I don't want anything critical, because critical means low life, and unless it's give me a fucking bazillion damage, I'm not doing it. Ooh, agility bonus is pretty cool. We'll keep that. Close combat key reduction could be useful, but I want I want something with some oomph. Give me some damage. <coughs> Excuse me. It's obsessed with key reduction. Damage to our snowclops, that's very specific. I attack key reduction could be good, but I don't want it. Damage towards Rokuro Roku things. That could be really good, nearly 15% guard reduction. I don't really like guarding though. I don't know what muddied is. Flying bolts. Let's just stick with that. I don't want to waste too much fucking money on this stupid reforging. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I've literally spent millions on that reforging, and I never get what I want. Ever. There we go. So 
let's check the disassembling then. If we disassemble stuff and we get special stuff, let's see what we get because I don't give a fuck about any anything that's not divine and even when it's divine I don't care too much unless it's a high number. So we've got a couple of rifles. My kind of philosophy with this is I uh, I generally chuck away everything that isn't a level uh, a leveled divine which is kind of elitist and, and not cool but it's it's one of those things that I've kind of always done. And you might be wondering why don't you just hold the button Chris and run through it? Well, I don't have enough shit to, to have faith in doing that. You'll notice there's a lot of oneers and twoers and fours and things. Like these colours are fine. That one can go. So this has been quite the contrasting episode, right guys? We've had crazy boss fight that we managed to, to win. And now we've had expert menu in. And by expert I of course mean complete moronic. Can't remember what I'm doing menu in. Yeah, I don't think you can you get rid of those now? God, look at those gloves. Those gloves look fucking legit, right? They've got a lot of cool abilities on those gloves. Keep them. Right. I love that my ninja armor is leveled up the ass, and I still took incredible damage <laughs> off that dude with the tonfers. It just goes to show that like, you get to a point in this game where you just cannot keep up with the damage output. And this is only on the no game. Imagine on the, the crazy fucking difficulties above this. I've never used a, an outfit set. You know the bonus that you get from wearing all the same shit? I've never used it once. Well, that looks weird. Right, we've done it, right? Where's the weapons? Need to go up this. I hate how it does all the weapons instead of putting it piece to piece like it does on the body. It really frustrates me that. Fuck that garbage. I want to keep keep the queefing tomfer because the queefing tomfer is legit. Otu Hotaru Maru. Oh, it looks so nice with all those fancy words, but does it even mean anything? I don't even know. I'll keep it. This one looks so ugly. It's like a piece of concrete on a stick. Ugh. What did they do to that tonfer? I need to keep one axe at least. Get rid of that one. I like to keep a spear that's quite high level, so I keep a couple of them. Even though I never use these weapons, I like to keep at least some of them. That's a wind version. That's fire. I've got a million fire. Should probably keep the wind one just because it's so different. I've been experimenting a lot with these dual swords because they are my babies. But I still can't get anything super sexy, and I've got quite a lot of really nice looking ones. Like some of them look sick. Like, look at that. Looks crazy, right? But still not good enough. A lot of time put into them as well. Still not good enough. That is wind also. So I've got a couple of wind. That's lightning. I think I've got a, a dual sword that's quite decent that has every element. Look at that motherfucker! All those A's, all those 20 percenters, and it still doesn't do the damage I would like. Oh, I can't get rid of that. That's my uh, juggle sword. Oh no, it's not. We're good, we're good. That looks really nice. I just hate that it has the head of the Egan Ninja on it. I wonder if they're going to let us get rid of some of those built-in abilities that nobody wants. That is a purple sheath on that sword. A purple scabbard. Looks lovely. Let's get rid of some of these stupid man swords. Ooh, look at that attack from behind and grapple damage. Ooh, that could be a beautiful sword if I put some time into that. Yeah, that's why I don't get rid of my swords, because some of them look sick. Right, let's let's disassemble. See what we get. You have obtained rare smithing materials. Here we go. Slender vertebra and Namahagahane horns. So... Those are the things that you need to make very specific things, aren't they, in, when you're forging. So instead of having to buy them at that tea shop, they've made it so that you can now get it via disassembling. That is very clever. That is a super good improvement. Uh, let's see what the tea shop yeah, offers, because if they fucked with this, they might have fucked with him. Because let's face it, this guy's a douche. Really cool guy, but you never do much with him because he always costs those glory points. <laughs> and at one point I had over a hundred thousand glory points from simply fighting um, revenants. Which is nuts. Tell me about it. And at the moment I've got 58k. <laughs> so, this all looks the same. There's the anima stones. I should spend all of this on those because I think that this should be interesting, right? 
When forging equipment, this item makes it easier to access useful special effects during battles. This variety of spirit zone is said to materialize whenever two samurais cross sword in combat as a crystallization of the warrior's resolution to fight at the left. In the hands of a skilled blacksmith, this stone can imbue power with remarkable shit. <coughs> I think I should probably buy some of those. I'm really tight, though. Oh, who's new? Oh, cool, you can be the ninja. Katakura Shigunaga. Is he gonna... Oh, I don't know who that is. Oh, yeah, you can get the sacred treasures. Should we buy a tonfa? See if we can get a good tonfa. Yeah, these are the expensive ones. Come on, dude, give us a sexy tonfa. It's gonna be purple. It's always purple. A blue? You fucking blued me? Dude, I'm done. That's all my money you're getting, you bitch. I hope you choke on your tea. Fuck it, it's trash. Get it off my screen. Horrible wanker. How many outfits do I have? I have got a few. It's a shame you can't customize how they look. Can you imagine if you could change their outfits and give them like different shit and stuff? That'd be so cool. She. This game's got a lot of remarkable stuff to it, and that's not one of them. Right. Let's let's look at what this is. I want to see what this is. If he's using all his spirits and everything, I'm not interested. But if he's just fighting me with his sword, this could be super cool. This dojo is a training ground for samurai. It is filled with the blood, sweat, and tears of encountered warriors who polish their techniques within its walls. You should be standing still, right? They never attack immediately. Right. Because I want to pop that new weapon on. Here we go. Shit, that's not the new one. That's the new one. Yeah. And now he's using the bullshit instantly. It's a very big arena though, so I don't imagine it's going to be much of a problem with all the uh, area of denial garbage. Chick. He's got armor, right? Yeah, he's got full armor in all of this. Yeah, and he does incredible damage. 